Now, going wireless, the challenge to connect thousands of computers securely without any physical connection. My next guest company develops systems to safely expand and manage wireless networks. Evan Kaplan is the president and chief executive of iPass, and he joins us now for a CEO sit-down. Evan Kaplan, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Explain to people that may not know a lot about iPass how iPass on their website today, you're talking about hot spots for the <laughs> royal wedding in London. What's that got to do with iPass? <laughs> So um, one of iPass's core businesses, we aggregate about half a million commercial hotspots around the world, and we deliver those to enterprises. So their employees traveling all over the world can make cheaper use of wireless networks. So As are, you probably know, go ahead. So I beg your pardon. So do you manage the networks, or do you just put together the access to them? We put together the access to them and guarantee a quality of service or reliability associated with that. And then we sell that to large enterprises so their employees can travel around the world and get access to them to use those networks. And then we make it super simple for them to get online. And then we help the companies manage the costs. So wherever possible, we put them on free networks instead of paid networks or paid networks instead of 3G or 4G networks. So, and and do all the, wireless, do all Wi-Fi. Do the users know that they're going through an iPass system, or is that something that's behind the scenes? You know, that's the beauty of our system. It's integrated. It's behind the scenes generally, but it's integrated with the authentication of the enterprise. So a Google employee, a Citrix employee, a Kimberly Clark, or somebody employee, one of our large corporate customers, they can use iPass and basically automatically connect onto the network, and we're authenticating them within the corporation. So they secure that connection. Now, how many workers are you able to connect right now? <laughs> Over the course of the year, we connect about 1.8 million unique, unique workers, and so unique individuals. And any given time, you know, any given month, we're connecting 600,000 or so. So a fair number, and it tends to be very large corporates who value this service, particularly people who travel a lot internationally, where the networks are so, so, so expensive for 3G and 4G travel. Now, I would imagine that this takes quite a bit of money as well as technical prowess. What about the cash position of iPass? I mean, do you have enough money to keep doing this? <laughs> I think we're in good shape. We have plenty of money in the bank. We've dividended out to shareholders over the last couple of years. I think we're in good shape. What's the plan for the future? Do you want to just build out the network in specific geographic areas? Oh, uh, that's a great question. So two things. One is we'll continue to grow the network. We've grown it, you know, almost 2x in the last year. So we'll continue to grow that. And we're seeing a big second wave of Wi-Fi. So the opportunity to grow that is tremendous. And secondly is we're continuing to add value to our software mobility platform for large enterprises to make the connectivity seamless and all the usage seamless and actually help people monitor, monitor the costs. And the third thing, which something we're pretty excited about, is Wi-Fi is quickly becoming more, more back in fashion is the right way to say it. We call it the second wave of Wi-Fi, as carriers like AT&T and others really begin to deploy Wi-Fi. And all devices ship virtually. Virtually all devices in the network ship with Wi-Fi. So to be able to service those carriers also was one of our strategic goals. Evan, what has the increase in video use and video sharing meant to the network? Uh, that's a great. Well, what's happened is we've seen the 3G and 4G providers really suffer. I mean, you can look at some of the obviously the data from AT&T, but we're seeing it in Europe and Asia too. Is putting video on those networks is a really expensive value proposition once you buy spectrum and capital equipment and that. And so people are preferring to offload video to Wi-Fi. So where we come in is because we're the gateway to so much Wi-Fi, we're allowed to offload all this video that otherwise go over very expensive networks. Routinely, we hear stories of $20,000 bills at large enterprises for people who downloaded a video while they were traveling for work or did this sort of thing. And so increasingly, people are becoming sensitive and they're using Wi-Fi for that. And we can actually force that from a policy point of view. Now, Evan, I got to ask you about the buzzword in technology that people have been talking about <laughs> at least for two years now, cloud computing. What does iPass rather have to do with cloud computing? How do you use that resource? You know, that's so multiple levels. First of all, cloud computing is assuming an always connected world, right? All of your applications, all your important data, everything from your address book to your 
you know, to your ERP, to your Salesforce okay. applications are in the cloud. And so you have to be connected. So iPaaS lends itself to that. But mostly, you know, what we're seeing right. in the world is where so many devices, you know, everybody increasingly, we see the average enterprise employee has about 2.6 We've got to leave devices. it there. Evan Kaplan, iPaaS <laughs> chief okay. executive. More.